Jackie Kucinich is on Capitol Hill and joins me now to update us on how things look before lawmakers leave for the weekend. Hey, Jackie. Uh, hey, Chris. I know it's busy, busier than we thought it would be uh, up on Capitol Hill. Let's talk about what the White House is doing to try, or White House allies are doing to try to convince what looks like a lot of wavering lawmakers to get behind a Syria resolution. Well, I mean, starting with Vice President Biden, he was calling members of the foreign, uh, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee yesterday while they were having a hearing. And that's in addition to some other officials calling members more discreetly as to not alienate them when they're trying to make their decision. Also, we recently found out that Senator Dianne Feinstein, Democrat from California, is asking the CIA to make a DVD of some of these chemical weapon attacks to prove to members and sen to, for senators and members uh, to prove to them how bad these are. And Jackie, what is the the, the, we, there are a lot of unclassified briefings, some of which we've seen mm -hmm. on TV. There are classified briefings. As you talk to members, are there a question or two or three questions that they keep asking that they feel that even with all these meetings and briefings, they've not had answered? Yeah, they do. I mean, in addition to tactical questions like boots on the ground and logistical questions like timing and how it will affect the region, they're also talking about spending. I mean, we're living in the age of the sequester right now. And there's been talk today about maybe rescinding some of those uh, defense cuts that were that were a part of the sequester. Also, they're worried about a war supplemental that, that might have to happen if this goes on longer than the administration maybe planned. So there are still a lot of things that we're going to be hearing about well into next That's week. That's a great point. The complexity of these things. It's never just as simple as a yay right. or nay vote on the resolution. Last question is, you mentioned next week, Congress comes back formally on Monday, though mm -hmm. they're really not in session. Do we have any sense, Senate and then House timeline on when we might get an actual final vote on Syria? The answer is sort of. <laughs> so the uh, Senate Foreign Relations Committee is filing their resolution tomorrow. Now, we won't see a vote, uh, best case scenario, until Wednesday in the Senate. From there, it becomes even more fuzzy because the House, we don't even know if they're going to take up the Senate language at this point. So there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered about how the House proceeds. Earliest possible House vote, we're looking at the week after next, but we'll see. So week after next in yeah. the House, and that's in the earliest possible schedule. Yes. I did not know that. Jackie Kucinich, it's been a busy week. It's going to get busier. Indeed. Thank you.